Hey, it's Rob Hefner here for the town of High Top Lakeside, hanging out at Town Hall. And uh, today we've got another highlight or profile or spotlight, however you want to say it, on Town Council. I've got with me Council Member Jim Snitzer. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Thanks, Rob. And hello. Yes. So um, you've been on council how long? Eight years, almost. Almost eight years. Yeah. So finishing out that that those terms, correct? Yep. Um, so let's talk, first of all, a little bit about your, your family background. Okay. Well, um, I, I, I grew up here in Arizona. And uh, so my family, I'm, I'm single now, but I've uh, I was married and for 35 years and then uh, lost her and then remarried, but that didn't last. So, uh, But I've got four kids. They live two on the East Coast and two on the West Coast, so I never see them. <laughs> but I do have some family locally, my sister and a brother. Cool. Um, what's one of your early memories of uh, growing up here? <clears throat> oh, well, huh, my, my earliest memory uh, is... Uh, uh, I had a cousin that lived a couple of miles away, and one one day my brother and I decided we would go visit our cousin Bob. He lived a couple of miles away. We just borrowed the pickup, <laughs> and it was an old Studebaker truck. And I remember it because uh, he was the big brother, and I had to sit down on the floor and push the pedals. We were both preschoolers. And so uh, we drove over, saw my cousin, drove back home, didn't think much about it. <laughs> but I don't think today they would let little kids take the truck. Yeah, out. no, it's a different world, isn't yeah. it? Uh -huh. So talk about your professional background. What did you do uh, for, for work? Oh, boy. Uh, there, there's these two wonderful words, dilettante and eclectic. Um, I, I'm a dilettante by nature. I've done uh, a bunch of things once. Uh, I'm, uh, I've never known anybody that can do as many things poorly as I can do. Um, the, uh, so I've got, uh, a, a funny background, uh, uh grew, growing up on a farm, you have all the things you learn on a farm, you know, working on equipment, how to fix things. And then, uh, you know, I went to, went to school, became an engineer and worked in big corporations. Very cool. Awesome. So what's that, uh, what do you do in your off times so when you weren't working? What's just like your hobbies and your passions? Oh boy, well, uh, I've got way more hobbies than time. Um, and, and again, as a dilettante, I'm interested in a lot of things. So if you were to see my little home office, I've got uh, uh, two computers and four screens. Uh, I've got, uh, what, one, two, three printers in that room. I've mm -hmm. got... Uh, a couple of laser engravers in that room and uh, three 3D printers in that room. So um, I do things, a lot of things for the Nature Center. So I make little things. I don't do anything for money, but um, I do, uh, I donate things to them that they can sell in the store and uh, just have fun putzing around. And, and once in a while, I get out on the trails to get a chance to walk around and enjoy our scenery. Very cool. Awesome. So now let's, let's from that, the hobbies and passions, let's talk about community service. And a lot of people think that, you know, people go into town council because of power or something like that. <clears throat> when in reality, it's not much power. It's a whole lot of work, isn't it? Well, I, I went in because they told me I got to uh, kiss a lot of babes. But I found out they meant babies. <laughs> and so, but uh, no, I, I worked on the town uh, uh, planning and zoning commission. That's, that was kind of my introduction to being involved with the town. And uh, it's a really good background. You learn a lot. And then I'm uh, very, very active as a volunteer in town and in other places. And so it just seemed natural. So tell me a little bit about those other things that you did, those other things that were Oh, boy, let's service. see. Uh, I'm on the uh, Arizona Historical Society uh, Board of Directors. I was their treasurer for several years, and we, uh, during a difficult financial time, we're in good shape now. Um, but anyway, I serve on and I serve on a couple of committees with the Historical Society: a Collections Committee, uh, the Executive Board, and then um, locally. Let's see, I'm on the Board of Tracks. Um, and I do trail work every Monday. I'm on the board of the Nature Center. Um, I'm on the board of the Optimist Club. And uh, gee, in, in my church, I'm active. I'm on the finance committee, and I'm an elder, and I do a lot of stuff with my church. Okay, so you say you, you grew up in Arizona, but yes. was it always in this area? or No. When no. did you get to this area? I grew up uh, right between 
Phoenix and Tucson, uh, you know, the nearest place was 11 mile corner, mm. but I just grew up in the middle of nowhere, uh, on a, a large family farm. We, we raised cotton and alfalfa and, uh, came up here in the summers starting about 1950 because I was a real sickly kid. And, uh, so they got me out of the heat and dust, yeah. uh, coming up here. And, uh, and then we ended up buying the, the, the property that I live on now they bought because of me. Uh, so I've got a place over on Rainbow Lake and it's a pretty, pretty sweet location. Oh, very good. Awesome. What's your favorite thing about Pine Top Lakeside? Oh boy. Um, I, uh, there's no one favorite thing because it's, it's such an amalgam of really great things. The, I mean, I, I love the people here, love the climate, all the things everybody else loves. Um, the, uh, I'm intrigued right now. Uh, the, the thing I'm most interested in, I'd say right now, is the future, where we're going. Uh, when, uh, I'm assuming we're going to get Wooden Lake Park. We haven't yet begun to uh, figure out how to use it and understand the impact it'll have on it. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in terms of acreage, it's kind of the size of Central Park. But we're not New York City. It's kind of the size of Golden Gate Park, but we're not San Francisco. So, so it will completely change and set the character of this town. What we are 10 years from now is going to revolve around that park. Uh, we just have to figure out how to make it happen right. Right. So what's one unique skill or what is the unique skill that you bring to council? Uh, again, not any uni- unique skill, but I have a, an extremely big, because I'm a dilettante, I've got a very broad background. And so, um, I've, I've been, you know, I've been play as they say, uh, I've been places, I've done things, uh, I've seen a lot of things. So, um, uh, and, and, you know, I was trained as an engineer, so you kind of have a natural bent to be a little bit analytical, uh, so I, I think I bring that just uh, not any real deep background in any one area, but a very, very broad background. Hmm. Now, um, what what's the, the issue, the one issue you might think that uh, you hope to address or you, you want to see addressed moving forward since you're actually leaving us here from council? Yeah, well, it's, it's the future of this town, where we're going to take it. Um, the uh, uh, I, I feel that towns either grow or die, and uh, I think we're on that knife edge. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, we've got to figure out how to do it right. If you were a stranger coming through Lakeside, you you might conclude this is a dying town. Right. You know, we, we're we're blind to it. We live here. We drive through it. We don't see it, but. Uh, anybody coming to our community has their antennas up. They're trying to figure out this place. And what they see right now is, is not our best side. We can do better. Um, so I think we need to figure out uh, uh, what we want to be and then go do that. We're, you know, um, they call it branding. You know, what's, what's the brand of our town? What makes us different? What makes us the place you want to be? Um, and we don't have a good answer for that yet. We need to find it. Yeah. Okay. Now let's pivot into some fun things here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're out on the trails a lot because of tracks. You're out there cleaning Mm -hmm. them. We got a video of you actually (laughs) cutting, cutting the trim again, getting it nice to make sure that people, you know, people that just doesn't happen on its own. Of all those trails that you've been on, what's your favorite trail? Oh, wow. Well, Well, once again, it depends on what you want to do. The, 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 I'll say the best most interesting trail is Los Burros, I think, but it's very long. Yeah. And uh, so the in town, we have some unbelievable trails. So the the trail along Walnut Creek coming out of Woodland Lake Park uh-huh. uh, toward, you know, toward the nature center uh, where you go right along the creek. That is a wonderful trail. I take, and it's right here in the middle of town, but you're down next to the trail. So you don't see the town right? and uh, you're next to the water. And then Billy Creek trail is another one, basically the same thing, a nice trail right next to water. So I like those trails right here close to town. Um, we've got a couple just north of town, you know, the Panorama and Timber Mesa, and those are great trails too. And they're just right down the road. So we, we have 200 miles, you know, uh, the things that make us special. One of them is we have 200 miles of hiking trails right around town. Wow. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, your favorite season. What's your favorite season here in the, uh, 
Ooh, well, I, I, I never seem to have one favorite thing. So I like different seasons for different reasons. Um, I'm not a big fan of the fall. It's gray and windy. And I'm not a big fan of the spring because it's, you know, windy. Right. And uh, where I live on Rainbow Lake, it's always windy. So if you have a breeze here in town, I've got a storm. <laughs> um uh, I like I like summer just because the summers are great here, um, and then winter is my time when things slow down a little bit. That's the time. Ideally, that's the time when I would get to pursue all those hobbies. Right. I'd have a little time for myself. So so I look forward to winter. I look forward to summer. I kind of live through spring and fall. Very cool. Finally, uh, you know, I'm going to add one extra question for you. Just. Uh, Talk to me about, uh, you know, what's next? What do you think, what's next for you? And what do you think should be next for the town? Well, uh, uh, you know, for next for me, who knows? Uh, I've always kind of just, you know, that what they say, grow where you're planted. Um, the, the I'll continue with my volunteer work. I'm, I'm pushing 80 years old, so I'm trying to... Um, cut down on the amount of stuff I'm doing and pick up fewer things and do a better job of them. The town, the future for the town um, couldn't be brighter, but it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to achieve it. But uh, if you were to go across America and look at all the other small towns, there must be you know thousands and thousands of small towns. And if you look at where they are and the opportunities they have, and look at where we are and the opportunities we have, we're ahead of almost every other town in the whole country in terms of the potential to take this town and really make it a you know, a prosperous area, but a very, very desirable area to live in. Yeah. Well, once again, it's uh, Jim Snitzer. Uh, thank you so much for the time you spent with us, and uh, thank you for everything you do. And thank you, and thanks for having me. You bet. Hey, that's going to be it. For this episode of Talk of the Town, I'm Rob Hefner here for the town at Pine Top Lakeside. Go out there, be nice to each other, and have fun. <laughs> <laughs>